Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Tales of Zestiria on the Sony PlayStation 4. Continuing from where we left off, so we need to meet with Sergei in Pendrago. Um, also, we want to try and do some of the side missions if we go ahead and talk to Rose here. So we want to go and visit the new hideout. And also we want to try and start the Irish Gem mission here and I believe it's through this door so we're gonna go ahead and go through here anyway uh, there is no skit so that's fine okay it seems to be marked on the map anyway so that's cool okay is that a monolith? Where? Oh. I can't believe I missed that. Face palm. Right. Okay, we've read that before. Wow, this, this is a nice luck. area, isn't it? It's just like what was in the celestial records. Wow. It's the leaning tower. I didn't know that it would be this big. Well, this will be a discovery point then. We we'll just have to get close to it. Surely. Hmm. That's strange. Maybe you've got to be. What is that? Oh my god. What is that? I want to go fight it. Oh, there's another one here. Let's fight it. This looks awesome. Come here, weird thing. Uh, wind. Okay. It's an ancient bird, Halyan, with scales like a dragon. This one's gonna be tough. Let's go. You feel it? Let's take them all down. When it's go time, go all the way. Oh, 150 XP, man. That's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, where do we want to go? We want to go over here. I'm not going to explore yet. I don't know why I can't discover that. <laughs> I bet you you have to like stand at a certain distance, which is just going to be really irritating. So there's a chest over there. And um, what's this monster? It's like a little gremlin thing. Level 24. Whoa! That thing is riding on looks way fun. Fun? That's a hellion, you know. It shoots stuff out from its artillery, so be careful. Nice. To be honest, I keep forgetting to do that move myself. I want to fight the different enemies because I want to see who gives the most experience. So far, it's that flying enemy, so. Like the boar, this hellion does a headlong rush attack. At you, Brutor? Huh? I'm 
I'm fine. Oh, Let's okay. So the, these four type creatures and the flying enemies. Cool. So I might be able to do a bit of uh, training up around here, guys. Oh my god. That's a powerful enemy, isn't it? I shouldn't fight that yet. So this is part of the side mission. Well, this doesn't look good. We're in a foul place. This feeling. We've been in places like this before. It's a crucible of malevolence. They make Hellions fight to make them nastier. Venomization. A diabolical practice. It appears this ruin was built to do just that. Who would make such a thing? I don't know, but there are several places such as this on the Glenwood continent. I had thought they had all been sealed up, but... Looks like they're back in business. Oh, this so this isn't the Assassin's on. Guild no new hideout. It. This is a we'll crucible. This. Something's blocking oh. our way. It must be to keep outsiders from entering. It's most likely that only certain people are allowed inside. So, it's me alone, huh? A solo fight. If it were me, I could ask for nothing better. Hmm. Right, okay, so what do we have to do? Fight... Have a look. So Ray, look around you. So let's just an ominous ominous malevolence swirls around here. Only Saray may, may enter, will you enter? Well let's see what happens, guys. Over. 
So it's like wave after wave then. Level 7. Wonder how much experience I'll get for this. Wow, can I like run around normally? Thank you. There we go. God, how many rounds is it gonna be? was a lot of damage then. So, hey, there we go. So, what did I get? Uh, Wind Ring, Earth Ring, Battle Boots times three, and Fawny Vest. Zero experience, though. All right, it settled down a bit. Nice. All purified? Somehow. I'm so sorry for making you go through this by yourself. Yeah, we had it real rough too. Lila's been fortune telling with her origami flower things. Saray won't lose, Saray will win. Saray won't lose, <laughs> just like that. She left paper scraps all over. I had Mebo clean it up though. Of course, I believed in you, but it was just so... Sorry for making you worry. Thanks, Lila. No, it's fine. My fortune telling was right after all. Sweet. Is there going to be a skit? Nope. Okay, so Rose, let's chat with you. Where do we need to go for the hideout? North of the Meadow of Triumph. So maybe it's that one over there. So we're going to head that way first of all, guys, and see if it's correct we're going the wrong way 
Right, this way then. Oh, rain. I don't remember seeing rain before in the game. Maybe I was just not paying attention. Great, it's raining. This sucks. Not for me. It's nice and dry inside Saray. That is whole new levels of creepy. Damn it! Why can't I be a dumb dry ghost too? Right, I'm gonna go ahead and fight you because you gave a lot of experience and... Yeah, we could actually do some leveling up around here. Wins! I wonder how many times you can go in that crucible then. When it's go time, we go all the way. Overdo it and you'll just Right, let's have a look a second at equipment. A lot of the equipment I've got on my characters are maxed out at the moment. like a dodo. Kinda looks like a dodo mixed with a Don't peacock. When peacocks threaten their foes, they will cover hell. Jeez, what a pain. You gotta give them physical ailments. Figure out why. Okay, let's go open up this treasure chest. There might be something nearby. Sideburns, yes, got some sideburns. Oh yeah. Done. Me some of this that. aroma. It's been a while. Um, HP increase. Let's do Edna. Saray. Hideout? One of the candidates. I'll go check it out. Wanna come? I'm gonna take a look. 
Sorry, but wait here a sec. I guess talk to everyone. <laughs> Just a little bit. It is cool, you've got to admit, having your own secret hideout. Curry bun was a huge success. It really? Might become the sparrow <laughs> feather's most famous product at this rate. Here's a sample. When you think Mabo curry bun, think sparrow feathers. Thank you. That was a conversation with an assassin's guild. Isn't it good that they're so peaceful? Hmm. It seems ideal for hiding away, but if we were attacked here, we'd be in a bind. You're right. Well, that's that. Let's look somewhere else. Sorry for making you all wait. Boss, Talfrin's back. Oh, how'd it go? Well, the Mabo curry bun was super popular, and... The Romano firm looks legit on paper, but it's about as shady as it gets. More than 30 reported bankrupt families. The firm confiscates all the family's property and takes it as their own. And as for what happens to those broken families, well, take a guess. There's gotta be a legal pitfall somewhere. Egil. Have squads two and four back up Talfrin. Investigate the Romano firm and its surroundings. Yes, sir. I'll leave it up to you. Even humans can make themselves disappear. All right, <laughs> let's get going. Uh, sure. That's my rose. Oh, come on. It's obvious he's got a thing for her. You scattered bones sure are on the same wavelength. You think? Well, we are kind of like family. Family, huh? I wanted to ask you if someone named Brad was your father. You mean our late leader? He's the one who saved me. Oh, really? Apparently, I was lost and roaming around the northern battlefield when he found me. Just like me. Aww. Seraphim don't have parents either. You guys too, huh? But we do know what it means to have a family. Gramps was the one who raised both of us. Same here. My friends in the Scattered Bones are like family to me, who took the same path I did. You don't mind having to be an assassin? No way! I'm grateful for it! It's better than us all being apart! I see. So, she doesn't mind, huh? Hmm, got a new title for doing that then. I am kind of interested to see where it all leads, see, but... I told you the Mabo curry bun would be a huge hit! Oh. Mm, yeah, it's delicious. Hey, mind your manners, you two. But we gotta eat it before it gets cold! Yeah, that'd be gross. I can't take it anymore. Give me a bite. Yeah, sharing is caring. Your manners, everyone, please! You, you want, want some, too? too? Yes, please! Oh, let's have a look. Well, let's carry on 
through and have a look around. There might be some treasure hidden somewhere. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Wait, that's... What is that? Level 29! Oh my god, really? Can we fight it? You like armadillos? But this one's so big! You mean like belly and size? We did it. You see a seraph using a staff like a club. I mastered it while practicing with Saray. It's got the reach you'd need to win, since he's tall. That's not the reason why. But the height. That's not it. <laughs> That's one of the ones I really like. There must be herbs around here. So that's blocked off. Right, where else do we want to go? We want to have a look. This way. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Nice, two treasure chests. Ray, look around you. Right, let's see where this way goes. Well, it basically leads back around. Um, which isn't an issue, but I am going to explore this on the next episode, guys, because this one has gone on long enough. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy, guys.